Bagani is roughly 390 miles north of Yangon. The journey between the city can take from one and a half hour flight to an 18 hour train ride. Buses that go directly from Yangon to Bagan use the new road and take 10 hours. We decided to take the night bus directly to Bagan. We book a night bus with JJ Express as they had good reviews online. Traveling by bus is not only the most comfortable way to travel, but we were pleasantly surprised by our experience in Myanmar. We travel from Yangon to Bagan by bus and then back again and would highly recommend its transportation to anyone traveling around Myanmar. In the morning, I saw a girl with Tanaka on face selling flow in the hotel from here. We started a wonderful and peaceful day with colorful flowers and chirping birds outside the hotel. Throughout Myanmar, early morning is the time to see monks collecting food and donations for the day. Along the roadside, residents set up serving stations in front of their homes and businesses. Here they offer cooked food, money or treats. On this day, most people serve cooked rice and curry, but I've seen them also include sundry items like long resort and twist like snack crackers and case. Once the route is completed, the monks head back to the monastery where they'll have the first of only two meals for the day. Bagan is relatively flat, so you can cycle from side to side or rent an electric scooter or engage a driver for the day. I should say electric biking around the temples of Bagan is the best way to explore them. There are so many pagodas in a small area creating a stunning view at the sunset or sunrise. The place is good to learn about the history and culture of this long hidden civilization. Legend has it that puppet tree first appeared in the 11th century of the Bagan dynasty. The periods between 1820 and 1885 were the time puppetry was most warmly received. The performance techniques reached the peak when actors were able to combine it with dances. Traditional Burmese puppet shows have 28 main characters, ranging from ghosts, animals, monsters, and royals. Burmese puppets are caved from wood, polished before being sanded and painted with various natural areas. Then they are dressed in needle customs with green and some other accessories. Each puppet is usually made from 17 to 18 pieces of wood and moved by 11 strings. Head and shoulders are controlled by 5 strings, whereas the arm and legs are controlled by the rest of 6 ones. Burmese people believe that puppets also have spirits, therefore, when designing and sharpening the characters, it's either sounds and liveliness that play major parts instead of the outside appearance. It was part of a tradition of meritorious acts embedded in Myanmar's Buddhist majority culture. 
with the neighborhood was the post refilled by retirees, housewife, or anyone looking for some karmic credits for a good deal. Putting water out is a Buddhist ideal to be kind to others. With the electric bike, you would be able to visit even the smaller temples and pagodas, avoiding the touristy spots worse as well. Riding through village dirt roads bring a different kind of experience to your adventure. Probably the biggest reason why everyone goes to this town is to filled with temples. You create a different type of air here. There are numerous temples in Bagan, some simple and some elaborate. They are said to be built for the remembrance of something important and not at tombs. The best way to view them is to watch the sunrise. There is a spot where many tourists go to watch the sunrise and then view the temple on the other side. The temples are then seen in warm sunlight coming from the rising sun. A trip to Myanmar cannot go without Bagan. As this is the place where you can get to see the different pagodas built by royal, temple, and villages. Due to the Hinduism that slipped into the country, some of the design had a high bridge of different cultures. A pagoda is expensive to build, thus usually the entire village will chip in to get it down. So you can imagine the collective culture here. Indeed, it takes the entire village to ride a child and to keep the community intact. The best time to visit is about 3.30 to 4 p.m. so that you can spend enough time exploring. There are thousands of pagodas here. If you happen to see a group of pagodas in different size, that's it because the biggest is often built by the grandparents, medium by the parents, and the small by the children. I will recommend you to take the horse ride if you are there early. My love for Bagan, the most wondrous site in Southeast Asia, is great. Imagine the situation of nearly 2,000 monuments within 40 square kilometers of Bagan archaeological zone. In every direction, you will see the ruin of all sites different from each other. That's why we often refer to Bagan as the open air museum. Another significant thing with Bagan is that all the ancient monuments in South Asia, like Borobudur in Indonesia or Angkor Wat in Cambodia, are all built of stones, while the temple and pagodas in Bagan are made of red bricks. Needless to say that Bagan is the highlight of classical tour for a visitor to Myanmar.
when it comes to Burma, not only the golden spectacle of sacred religious sites, but also a wide range of elegant souvenirs strikes tourists as the most impressive feature. Alongi, sand paintings, lacquerware, or tapered trees would be considered to bring home. Every culture that possesses a long river tends to deify. Egyptians have the Nile, Indians have the sacred Ganges, and the Israeli have the Jordan. So is it with the people of Myanmar who have revered the Aiwadi River for millennia and whose ancient civilization was born and prospered near the river, in part because of the rich resources it provided. Myanmar city communicate and trade with one another through the Ayawadi River. The Ayawadi River is an important element in the history of human civilization as well as the history of Myanmar.